My name is Miriam Robertson. I am an alum of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I achieved a Bachelor's of Arts of International Relations and Peace Studies through the Interdisciplinary Studies Program. Uh, the departments that I drew my courses from to create my degree were anthropology, NREM, which is natural resources, environmental management, sociology, Pache, peace and conflict education, communicology, ethnic studies, and political science. I determined that specific courses from these departments would equip me with um, a complete and varied education of both international relations and peace studies. The internships and opportunities that I discovered by following my degree path included many via the Matsunaga Institute, as well as through the UH Outreach College. Through the Matsunaga Institute, I um, I pursued and completed a Peace Corps prep certificate and undergraduate certificate in peace studies, as well as attending the Hiroshima and Peace Conference in 2019. For my senior practicum, I also went through the Matsunaga Institute. I created a peace path through the UH Manoa campus and I did this because I had noticed a lot of plans and statues and memorials that were um, representative of peaceful concepts, events, or that had spiritual connections to peace. I thought that having a map of all of these uh, locations would be insightful and educational for everybody who frequented or visited the UH campus. Some of the events that I attended and participated in were um, the Conflict Resolution Day, which is um, every year on the third Thursday of October. And I did that with the Conflict Resolution Alliance. Um, I volunteered at a Seeds of Peace workshop and their tabling events and helped with the Sadako Peace Cranes project at uh, the Pearl Harbor um, Memorial. There we taught visitors and tourists how to make paper cranes and about Sadako's story. We encouraged everyone, adults and kids, um, to write messages and their own personal meanings of peace on the cranes that they had made. And I also attended um, events at the 100th Infantry Battalion or Club 100. And this was particularly meaningful to me uh, because my great uncle was in the 100th Infantry and the 442nd. And to be involved there as a college student after um, not being there since I was a lot younger with my aunties, that was, uh, that was really special for me. I was really involved with um, a lot of my Pache classes and those classes included um, mediation skills, leadership for social change, um, a human rights course, and a class that um, covered um, Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., and nonviolence. We learned mediation and facilitation skills, communication skills such as body language and facial expressions, um, to use in events where uh, spoken language wasn't necessarily shared, um, as well as conflict resolution, um, human rights laws uh, globally and their enforcement and how they're protected. I participated in campaign nonviolence and creating a proclamation to declare Honolulu as a nonviolent city. 
Outside of my classes, I applied to be a student interchanger through the Outreach College, and I worked with uh, short-term Japanese exchange students and gave campus tours, did language, English language um, exercises, and just um, went over with them and familiarized them with um, how to navigate a typical US university setting. Um, I attended the Hiroshima and Peace Conference in 2019. Um, there were 25 Japanese students and 25 international students. And we learned about the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. And we heard testimonies of, um, or from the Hibaksha or the survivors who were young children or they were in utero at the time of the bombing. And we visited the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum and we saw images and artifacts from the aftermath of the bomb. And that attending the museum really, truly made me realize the extreme importance of learning all sides of history and uh, the aftermath of war. Um, these photos are from the Hiroshima Peace Lantern Floating Ceremony. This is every year on August 6th. Um, people come from all over, this is locals and tourists um, to make paper lanterns, write messages of peace on them and float them down the Motoyasu River, which is right next to the, the bomb site. Every year there are about 10,000 lanterns that are um, created and floated down the river. So the other events that we did at, um, in Hiroshima where we attended a meeting with the mayor of Hiroshima and um, on the anniversary of the bombing of Hiroshima on August 6th, we went to the peace memorial ceremony at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. And we joined with and we heard prayers and messages for lasting peace, lasting world peace from um, local citizens and foreign ambassadors and dignitaries. And let's see, I spent a lot of time with my host family and um, they were extremely welcoming and generous, and we had a lot of fun together. They took me to different historical sites in Hiroshima, and um, we went hiking and saw views of um, the bay in Hiroshima, and they explained to me um, the environmental impact that the bomb also had on um, on sea creatures and um, terrestrial animals and pets because Hiroshima is um, right near the ocean. There's several rivers that travel through through the city. And um, reflecting on all of my experiences they had during my undergraduate, um, the Hiroshima and Peace Conference included, I can say that peace is absolutely interdimensional. It's different for everyone, uh, individuals, nations, cultures, generations, and uh, that should never be taken for granted. And my experiences and classes have 
really given me knowledge of concepts of peace practices, um, conflict resolution, um, the understanding of uh, the importance of communication skills and the friends and relationships that I've made and built are ones that are nurturing and um, absolutely lifelong.